Section thirty two of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Elizabeth Clatt. Plead for me by Emily Bronte. O oh, thy bright eyes must answer now, when reason with a scornful brow is mocking at my overthrow. O oh, thy sweet tongue must plead for me, and tell why I have chosen thee. Stern reason is to judgment come, arrayed in all her forms of gloom. Wilt thou, my advocate, be dumb? No, radiant angel, speak and say why I did cast the world away. Why I have persevered to shun the common paths that others run, and on a strange road journeyed on, heedless, alike of wealth and power, of glory's wreath and pleasure's flower. These once indeed seemed beings divine, and they perchance heard vows of mine, and saw my offerings on their shrine. But careless gifts are seldom prized, and mine were worthily despised. So with a ready heart I swore to seek their altar-stone no more, and gave my spirit to adore thee, ever-present phantom thing, my slave, my comrade, and my king. A slave, because I rule thee still, incline thee to my changeful will, and make thy influence, good or ill, a comrade, for by day and night thou art my intimate delight my darling pain that wounds and sears, and wrings a blessing out from tears by deadening me to earthly cares. And yet a king, though prudence well have taught thy subject to rebel, and am I wrong to worship where faith cannot doubt nor hope despair, since my own soul can grant my prayer? Speak, God of visions, plead for me, and tell why I have chosen thee. End of section thirty two.